This is an interesting case. This is a lady that I saw back in 2011. She went to her ENT complaining of a dull throbbing ache on the upper right side. She thought she had some sinusitis. The ENT sent her for a CT scan, which indicated that she had an abscess with an upper right molar. She was referred to a couple of endodontists. The first endodontist said that he didn't see anything. The second endodontist said that they would recommend taking the tooth out. And I was the third endodontist. Taking a look at the patient, if I used my imagination, I might be able to uh, see a little radiolucency on the radiographs, but certainly nothing that I could hang my hat on. So we took a cone beam scan, looking in the axial plane, from the biting surface of the tooth up to the tip of the root. We can see a little puff of sealer, and then we can see a radiolucent area. Looking in the sagittal plane, moving from ear to ear, we can see the radiolucent area, and we see that puff of sealer again. And the blue arrows are indicating a little maxillary sinusitis. Looking in the coronal plane, we're moving from the back of the head to the nose, we see the radiolucency, and we see that little puff of sealer. So now putting all the pieces together, we've made the decision to go in and treat the tooth. We remove all the gutta percha, we trough for the MB2, and toward the distal aspect, we found a second distobuccal canal. Here's a working length radiograph which shows the file in the previously untreated DB2 canal. We placed calcium hydroxide and brought the patient back in a month. In a month she was asymptomatic. We sealed the tooth. There's the missed DB2. These radiographs are about six microsieverts of radiation. The focused field cone beam scan is about 19 microsieverts. The medical CT scan is a whopping 1,200 to 3,000 microsieverts. And this is the patient when she returned in six months for a reevaluation, and she has been pain free ever since.